Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Joe coming at you with the reading. This is going to be one of their true intentions and love, Sagittarius. It's going to be for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope everybody's well. And Sagittarius, I have your Oracle cards here. And uh, we have this card of agitation. Somebody's agitated, right? <laughs> and they could be at the point of major agitation because that was the next card we had. Yeah. There's a man here, Sagittarius, with the, uh, the Law of Attraction deck. And he's, you know, at the door and he's hiding some roses or some flowers. And he's ringing the doorbell, uh, you know, to somebody's house or somebody's apartment. And he's surprising somebody with these flowers because he wants to do that. Somebody could be coming to surprise you. Mm -hmm. Wow. This could be surprise love, right? Because, I mean, if we look at it more in a general sense. Uh, but, you know, this person is probably the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius, or maybe not even dealing with. Maybe coming out of some type of a surprise or from the past is at the point of, I feel like, probably uh, a major, a powerful realization for them. Because we have the Thunderbolt, which is, uh, you know, this uh, person here who's kind of, you know, uh, posed kind of as Buddha, like in this meditation pose. And all these, you know, lightning, uh, lightning is hitting this person from all sides. And then, of course, the people are falling out of this person's body, and there's the fire is there. It's just like the tower, but somebody's having a major powerful realization, they are, about things that they want to let go and things that they want to keep. Yeah, because we have Dove, Sagittarius, and I feel like you got this card before, and uh, the portal to love. And the, you know, the dove, uh, it's probably the, the male dove. Not sure, you guys, but, you know, because uh, sometimes a female uh, animal is in charge. Yeah. With the whips and chains, said whips and chains, Sagittarius. <laughs> but the dove is the portal to love, comfort, and reassurance. Wow. And he's, you know, he's nurturing, uh, you know, his, his mate, right? We have also the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who wants to take like some quick action, right? It could be like, uh, it sounds like, uh, you know, off with their heads, right? <laughs> that's what that's what they said. And I think it was Alice, uh, Alice in Wonderland. But we have the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius. We don't want anybody to lose their head. No, we don't, Sagittarius. No, we, we everybody needs their head for sure. The Four of Pentacles is showing up here. In this deck here, it talks about somebody who is miserly. Somebody who is stubbornly hanging on to money. Maybe that's your person. And they could be isolating themselves. Yeah, they could. And uh, either this is, you know, this is the storyline. All you guys will know kind of, you know, what character you guys play. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius and their person. The Passion card. Let's see what else we have. And uh, this little girl's, you know, this talks about major passion and inspiration. She's reading to somebody the Gratitude card. And, you know, these two people are appreciative of each other. Somebody appreciates you, or you definitely appreciate them. And then we have the card of perseverance. Wow. And, you know, mm -hmm, that means somebody's not going to give up. That's really what that means. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. And their person, we have the Six of Wands. And this is about a victory, the Four of Cups. I feel like somebody could be bored or unhappy. It's probably this agitated person who's going through this tower moment here. And it, for, it's a major powerful realization. It could be an ending, could be, it could be an electric ending, kind of like a, you know, like an explosion, right? A big, you know, a big blow up. It could be for somebody, the nine of pentacles. And is this in the reverse? No, I flipped the cards um, in here. This is somebody who is, who has a lot of money or who is single. It's really what it's about. Here she is with her, you know, her rich clothes on. She's in her, she's in, uh, you know, she's talking to her rich bird here, her exotic bird, and she's on her estate, right? Don't forget to invite me over, Sagittarius. We can have wine, your wine, right? This is a vineyard. <laughs> because the, uh, in the background is all, uh, it looks like grape leaves here. Uh, but yeah, so let's see what else we have. This is definitely about a victory. And maybe there was some rejection in the past with this Four of Cups or unhappiness. 
Sometimes it is like a major disappointment or disillusionment, the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. And boredom. Somebody's bored here. Somebody could be bored to the point of agitation, even. Wow. So let's see what we have, Sagittarius. And the Seven of Cups, the Moon. The Knight of Pentacles is in the challenge. The Two of Cups is what you want. So this person is, is who you love, right? Mm-hmm, definitely. The Ace of Wands is what you fear. So this is what you love, and you both fear, Sagittarius. You don't want this person to go. No. And it's probably this Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You have the Seven of Cups and the Moon. I feel like you're. I feel like you are like. I feel like you just have doubts and fears. This person's going to make a choice because that's what this reading's about. This person's hanging on to a bunch of money. Pretty loud. Pretty sure. Maybe it's you, but somebody has some major money here that's kind of stopping somebody from moving forward, because we see gratitude here and passion. But we have perseverance. Yeah, and this, we have the point. Wow. And the point is, you know, I'm at the point to do this for sure. Everything will change uh, once this point is kind of activated, right? Yeah, let's see. Once the person gets really to this point. And interesting, right next door, Sagittarius, is this man here ringing the doorbell. This, por this person, I feel like, is at the point to go ring your doorbell or call you or contact you. And they have flowers. This person is majorly thinking about you. OMG. Of course, that's what this is about. But here they are, probably, you know, they were being really miserly here with the money. Yeah, the mean king is here. Mm -hmm. it does, that doesn't sound uh, like, un, what's the word? Uh, it sounds familiar. The mean king is here, and all these people are bringing him money. <laughs> And he looks like you better hand over your pentacle or, you know, we're going to put you in chains here. Yeah. Let's look at, uh, let's see what you are kind of, the Seven of Cups energy for you, Sagittarius, Page of Swords. And this, this is, you know, particularly what this is about here is, you know, this is you wondering if they're going to make a choice. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are somebody's Pisces or Cancer here. Because we have the hangman down here. And these can be both Pisces. And here's the earth sign. The fool card. Yeah, you're waiting for somebody to take a chance on you. A gamble, a risk. You're waiting for them to have courage. Yeah, here they are. They're holding their money. They're like, well, uh, you know, my money's the most important thing. Right? That's what this person is. They, they, prob they probably either are married or they have to... Or they have to like uh, like quit some major career far away, and they're going to lose money, something like that. We have the Knight of Cups, the World cards in the past for them. They have the Six of Cups, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius. This is somebody from your past. Six of Wands here. Wow. This World card with the Knight of Cups. Here they are with their love offer in their hand, right? And there's their money on the ground over there, Cap uh, Sagittarius. Just teasing. Because <laughs> they're losing money, I think. The world card showing up here. And this is, you know, uh, the ending of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. It is with you, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands. I can't make this stuff up. There you are. Right right after I said, it is with you, Sagittarius. The Ten of Swords is their challenge. The Ten of Pentacles is their challenge. This is their, this is the Ten of Pentacles being their challenge, Sagittarius, is money they're losing or they're married or both. I can't make this stuff up. This is what's going on. Uh, ain't nothing but going on but the truth, right? About this person, Hangman, Nine of Pentacles. This is what they want. They want to be single. They want to be solo so they can, you know, bring you these flowers. Yeah, they're in another union, Sagittarius. They are. This could be their hope. Maybe they're hoping to make a lot of money here. But this reading talks all about somebody's been blocked by coming forward with their love because they stubbornly, they don't want to lose money. They're like, I want to hold on to, I don't know, my bank account, this house, whatever. Or I don't want to pay child support for five kids. Uh, hopefully that's not the case, right? Let's see what else they want. The hangman. So this person might be Pisces. 
And they might be, I mean, I don't see that many uh, energies in this reading in terms of signs. We have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio here. And then you, Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. And the Eight of Wands, they want change. Yeah, they're in another union. They want growth. They want forward movement. They want inspiration. They want passion. Could be sex, right? Could be. And in their fear is the Four of Wands and the Six of Swords. This person doesn't want you to go, Sagittarius. No, they don't. Uh, let's see the shared energy between you both. The Three of Wands reversed. Something has to end here. It's this can, something has to end, or something is not working out. Three of Wands reversed is you know. It's or this it's it's typically a negative card, but this is all about you know in the upright of vision and somebody's waiting for their ships to come in. It's in the reverse. This is the shared energy. I feel like once this person really makes this decision, they're at the point right now, Sagittarius, to bring you these flowers, right? They're agitated. They're ready to do this. Only because they got super agitated. Three of Wands right here. They want to manifest, move forward with you. This is the shared energy. Something has to end here with this world card. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords. You're both worried about this. And if you are not both worried... These are beautiful cards down here, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are. But if you are both worried, yeah, you're worried that you're not going to have the Ace of Wands with them, a passionate new opportunity. And they're worried that they're just not going to, you know, they're not going to, they're worried about losing money, but they're worried they're not going to be with you. This person knows. Three of Wands reverse, six of, nine of swords, a shared energy. You could both be worried, but I feel like this is a storyline about, yeah, maybe both being worried. I mean, you're not, you're not, you're okay here, Sagittarius. Your energy's not, like, you're not grieving this person. I don't feel like you are. I mean, you have doubts and fears here, but I don't, I don't see grieving. So this could be either one of you's, but that Three of Wands is reversed. Like, are we going to manifest this? Are we going to move for, forward together? Is my vision going to come true? And that is for both. And uh, this is the shared energy and how they feel about you, Sagittarius. Ace of Cups, right here. So we're going to end this reading, and we're going to go to the extended, Sagittarius. Uh, we're going to get some more cards, too, uh, for from the uh, Tree of Life Oracle deck. We're going to look at the underlying energies. Uh, yeah, and... We're going to see their environment, what they think about Sagittarius, what they're thinking about right now, what's blocking them, mm -hmm. what you don't know about them, the near future for them, mm, which could be now for sure. They're at the point right here. And we're also going to see how they feel about you. We want to look at that one more time. Or how they see the situation, yeah, and their true intentions or their outcome, and they're all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. The link is below. Wishing you guys a ton of power and light.